So the yard is all cleared out. I had help doing it. And the guy who's supposed to be mucking it out is supposed to come tomorrow. Oops, left a tool. Better pick that up and put that away or I'll never know where I left it. Anyway, all this beautiful muck, you can see my lasagna is already composting. You can see there's a straw layer, a wood chip layer, a straw layer. It'll be more evident tomorrow. Anyway, that will all go up, except for that, that bale of straw. Um, I'll keep that. But everything else is gonna go into a big heap up in the field and be composted so that next year I can spread it black gold into the fields as well as have some for my uh, tomatoes. I'll show you my tomato composting and results. Hello, how are you? Psst, psst, psst. What are you jumping at? Anyway, already see, I'll put it in a pile up there in the field so it'll have time to rot. So hopefully he comes tomorrow. Hopefully, fingers crossed. High quality compost, a mixture of straw, hay, wood chip, composted. And now to feed my tomatoes and cucumbers and vine house things. Beautiful black gold. Hey you, Kitty, are you interested in worms? No. Oh, worried about something. What are you worried about? He's gone. Anyway, Inca, can you kind of know? Thank you. There's been a big sort in the vine house and I'm lining up my cucumber and my tomato places. This is the composted wood chip um, manure mixture that's like black gold. And so I will start planting up a lot of my tomatoes into these bins. A lot of my tomatoes have been given away to friends and family. So I am going to have a lovely time tomorrow planting them. Well, tomorrow, I might not be plant doing it tomorrow. If um, shed's gonna be mucked out, I'll be doing that. So maybe Sunday I shall have, um, oh yeah, and I ate the two strawberries. Well, a friend and I did. So what I tend to do is spread this out then I put a layer of bought compost. The reason being, there's still a lot of seeds in this from the grasses, etc., and wind-blown seeds into it. And I don't want to be weeding my tomatoes. So I do buy bags of compost that I do as a layer on top so that the, it, I do about, uh, what is that? Two inches, something like that, on top of this. And that suppresses weed growth but the tomato roots go down into it and eat all the yumminess um so one of the composts i use is this one which is uh seaweed enriched and then this is another one i use another seaweed one from the organic trust so it depends what i get and here's my uh my snail deterrent. So my aubergines are doing really well. I've got a, another bin, one of these. These are all upcycled from a plumber friend. And my aubergine, I'm gonna be putting here. I've got another bin that I'll be putting in there. So the aubergine will grow there. And the vine, I've got some work to do on the vine to trim it so that it doesn't take over like it did last year. And I've learned a lot 
I'm not a great person. A great, I'm not a great grape person, but I'm learning a lot in the last year. So I've got to trim it back a lot. So it'll bear fruit. Anyway, I better go and check sheep again. The evening rounds, as it were. My calendula is doing, that's, that's the last, but these are more calendulas. Actually, no, sorry, that's not calendulas. That is more of my calendulas. There's more calendulas. And here's more calendulas. Those are all pest deterrents. Oh, look, I've got a wild, a foxglove growing in here. How lovely. In the vine house, a foxglove. So they are, the calendulas are my pest controllers because all the green fly and everything go and try and devour the calendula and it doesn't do very well. I mean, sorry, the calendula does well and the green fly eat the calendula rather than my tomatoes. Golly, my brain, definitely brain fry. How are you? Oh, you're so excited. You're so excited. You're such a pup. Oh, you're all such pups. Okay, let's go. My watering cans. Oh, this was salvaged from somewhere else. It's some um, scabies and I'm trying to uh, resuscitate it, hopefully. It's resting in water. It's been watered from the top and the bottom. So hopefully it'll perk up. But it was weeded where, it was taken from where I didn't want it. I have to plant these baby foxgloves. That's not a foxglove. That's a nettle, but those are foxgloves. I have lots of work to do. Loads of transplanting, transpotting, on top of sheep, on top of everything else, and my bit of writing. So busy times, busy days, and all the busyness. How's my pie? Maybe it's kitty. Yeah. I love the floofiness of London Pride. It is so lovely and floofy. It's so lovely coming through this way. You see all that floof. Isn't that pretty? Poppies and... Oh. Now, okay. Are you okay? Maya has a issue, which the flap in her throat, the flap in her throat, that differentiates between swallowing food and breathing sometimes flips the wrong way. So I have to rub her neck and it readjusts itself. Anyway, I'm telling you all that. Isn't that a lovely view? This is out of the potting room door, but isn't that a lovely view? The roses are behind. So there should be like pink roses all in there. What are they doing? Let's see. No, they're behind. They're just buds at the moment, look. No, not happening yet. Not happening yet. But I tell you, the perfume from this stuff is brilliant. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> You're okay, um. your breathing is okay, aren't you? Oh, puffers. Okay, let's go, come on, come on pups. Come on! Yeah, no, I'm coming. Come on. Come on. Bye-bye.